All right, everybody, NTD, another new tool day unboxing. All right, Judo Sailor here, and another unboxing for you today. Again, I'm in the shop now that things are starting to come together. It's still not quite ready for the big tour reveal, but cleaning up enough spots now that I have some places on my workbench that I can do the unboxing out here instead of in the old bedroom. Also, as is pretty common in Florida about this time of day, it is raining cats and dogs outside. I did close the door even though it's going to get stuffy in here, but figured that uh, you guys still might hear it a little bit, so my apologies for that. So two things we're gonna be looking at today uh, that I got. The first is this quarter inch drive click type torque wrench that I got from Olsa Tools. This is another free demo tool that I got from Olsa. So some people believe that because uh, you get a tool for free, that means you're not gonna give an honest review of it. Now, maybe if you're actually sponsored by a tool company, you might have a little bit of a temptation to give it a favorable review so that you can keep up your sponsorship. But this is not that. I'm not sponsored by Olsa Tools. I mean, that'd be awesome. But I'm not sponsored by Olsa Tools. Um, they send these out. You get reimbursed for them as long as you do a review. Um, so there really isn't much to encourage me to f do a, a positive review, even if I don't like it. Um, also, the fact that I spent no money on it means that I'm not invested in this at all. I think sometimes if you actually spend your money on a tool, then you're actually more likely to look at it favorably because you don't wanna think that you spent your money on a piece of junk. So first thing we're gonna look at, and more of an overview than a review, is this Olsa Tools quarter inch uh, torque wrench. Then after that, we're gonna look at this, which I did buy with my own money, this Crafts Craftsman V20 task light. And um, I got this, well, more about this actually in a moment. Let's do the Olsa Tools first. So first time, uh, this is a, a true unboxing, have not, uh, looked at this at all. So we'll go ahead here and just take it right out. All right, and not even upside down. So like most torque wrenches, this comes in a case. Now, by comparison, uh, let me show you my Pittsburgh half inch torque wrench that I recently purchased. Obviously, that's going to be much bigger being a half inch torque wrench, but all torque wrenches, as far as I know, come in cases like this because the calibration, uh, the, the fact that you need to maintain the calibration means they need to be kept safe. You can't bang them around and, and, uh, and jostle them and stuff like that. It can throw off the calibration. So there's my nice Pittsburgh click torque wrench. I did, uh, unboxing of this as which contained a, a real quick use of it I just loosened and then retightened a lug nut on my vehicle just to kind of show that it worked and it did it's really nice I'm really happy with it that's pretty much all I'm going to use it for is torquing down lug nuts uh, and it was great for 10 bucks this also tools uh, by comparison even though this is the little tiny quarter inch Retails for on Amazon for $86 and some change. So with tax and everything, you're actually looking at a little more than that, uh, shipping if you don't have uh, Amazon Prime. And so should definitely be a higher quality torque wrench, even though it's small. I figure between these two, I should have things pretty well covered. This for lug nuts and, and big things, and when I'm doing smaller things that require a finer torque adjustment, I'll have this Olsa Tools. So let's go ahead and crack her open and take a look. And there we go. Let me scooch this out of the way a little bit. 
All right. So here we go. I don't know. There you can kind of see the Ulsa tools. You can see the markings. The markings are in inch pounds for this. Uh, and it goes from, well, it goes up to 150 inch pounds. And now suddenly my mind is blanking on the minimum. Is it 30 inch pounds? Something like that. And so a little closer. So it looks nice. I mean, the finish on these is nice. I think they're, I think also is trying to compete with like Tecton gear wrench and things like that. Now this is interesting. I'm going to have to figure out how this works because a little different. There's no like nut or anything to tighten on the bottom here. There's this, which spins and seems to adjust the torque. Maybe there is no way to kind of lock it in place. This moves, so there's something there, you would think. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to figure that out because it operates a little bit differently. Um, let's see. So that's the tight way. So let's listen. So if I give it a little faster turn. I mean, it feels really smooth. Yeah, so I don't know how many teeth are in there, but we might be able to find that out in just a moment. So there you have it. It looks nice. Looks like I need to do a little bit of actually reading the instructions on this since it operates a little differently, even though it's a clip type torque wrench. It operates a little differently from my Pittsburgh. So here we go, calibration. Yeah, and it does look like a minimum of 30 inch pounds to a maximum of 150. This is just the little certificate showing that they did um, categorize it. And here you have, well, it says, you know, pound inches, probably the correct way to say it, but everyone actually says inch pounds. So there is that. Here are the instructions, more about the calibration. And it looks like you pull that back, twist, and then let it slide forward to lock it in place. So it should be pull this back. Uh, maybe you turn the whole handle, not just this thing. There we go. Then locks in place. Ah, okay. So that is how it works. Okay, great. All right, so I think I've got this figured out and it's actually pretty ingenious. I really like it. So indeed, you pull this back so that you can make big adjustments, turning the whole handle, turning even, I'm not sure if you could see it, but turning even that part of the handle. Let that go back, it locks into place, but then you can use this to still make fine adjustments. And so actually, I think that's pretty cool. I, I, uh, I like that. So I'm excited to use this and uh, I have really high hopes for it. Out of the box, I really like it. So that is the Ulsa Tools quarter inch click type torque wrench stickers coming loose there off of the case now I promised you another unboxing and maybe even you notice a little difference in this area here uh, from the first part of this video I lost a bunch of footage from yesterday actually it was a classic uh, my uh, camera stopped recording moment so I did already open this as you can see, I mangled the box pretty good in doing so. Um, but actually, I think that's not bad because it gave me an opportunity to use this yesterday. So out of the box, here is what it looks like. This right here. 
And my first impressions were it's really light um, and almost has a bit of a chintzy feel to it. Um, all the weights in the battery when you, you put the battery on it. Um, I will say kind of like the drill and the impact driver that I got, which did not feel chintzy at all. Uh, th this has a really nice grip, man. Super comfy grip. I just love how these these uh, craftsman tools feel in the hand. Um, so uh, it takes the same battery uh, from the V20 series. So this, the batteries that came with my uh, um, drill and my, there we go, with my drill and impact driver uh, work for this. These are one and a half hour amp hour batteries. So it sits like this. Uh, obviously, there's nothing to turn this way because the whole thing turns rather easily, but it does go all the way to a straight up position to level and then one click even downward. So I got this uh, because I was looking for a work light. I was considering buying the Harbor Freight work light, the paddle style one. It's got like a, a little tube and then a paddle that sticks out the end and the paddle turns all around and the bottom of the tube is magnetic so you can stick it to things um, and use that to hold it in place. And that is normally uh, about 30 bucks at Harbor Freight. There is a coupon that's like $26.99, um, I think, so $27, bucks. maybe it's $24.99, so $25, anyway, right around there. Uh, right around 25 bucks, 27 bucks, something like that. Um, and it is supposed to be 250 lumens, whereas this is rated for 140 lumens. But as I was looking around for a light to use, I uh, was looking for some other places. I was looking on Amazon and I saw this pop up, uh, which uh, Lowe's, I believe, only offers this as part of a kit, as part of a set. Um, you can't buy it separately. And on Amazon, they had this for right about $20. With tax and everything, I think it came to like 21 something. And so <clears throat> a little cheaper, you know, five to five to eight dollars cheaper, depending on what the Harbor Freight price is. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. And so I decided since I already had this uh, tool set from Craftsman and was already liking it, that I'd go ahead and stay with that and get this. Uh, so now part of the reason I got this was not just to use as a tool and as a, as a task light or work light, but also for videos. I, I've realized that I need some better lighting in some of my videos and uh, not just for this channel, but for some stuff that I do for work too. Uh, as part of my day job, I do several live streams. I do uh, some vlogging. And I realized I needed uh, some better lighting, and so I wanted to use this. And so I used this during a live stream uh, yesterday. The live stream lasted 45 minutes, plus some setup, plus some time after. So this was on probably for close to an hour it was on. And as you can see, still showing basically a full charge on the battery, even after an hour of use. Also, it was insanely bright. Um, it was so bright that I had to actually point it at the wall and let the wall kind of diffuse the light. And then it worked great for lighting the little area that I was sitting in. So, you know, 140 lumens versus the 250 of the uh, Harbor Freight work light. I don't know. I think this is plenty, plenty bright. So already used it once, really liking it. Also, I live in Florida, so I think this is going to come in really handy during hurricane season, times when, uh, you know, obviously we have plenty of flashlights and stuff like that, but uh, something like this that could almost, could light a small room like a bathroom. Um, I think it's going to come in really handy. So there you go, uh, my craftsman, uh, they call it a task light rather than a work light. My Ulsa Tools, 
quarter inch drive click type torque wrench, which seems pretty cool to have some neat features. I will tell you, once I use it, I may come back and talk about how it's held up and, and, and what it's done for me, but right out of the box, really like it. And if you liked this, if you like these little unboxing videos and these, uh, you know, I call it more of an overview than a review. You like these overview videos, then click like at the bottom and it would really help me out by subscribing to this channel. Um, just trying to get it going, trying to see what I could do with it. Uh, right now, only about 62, I think, maybe 64 subscribers. Um, <clears throat> my first goal is simply to break 100. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for that. Uh, so more to come on that 100 subscriber giveaway. But it's something kind of cool, not something tremendously valuable, but something that I think that anyone that is interested in tools and DIY and stuff like that would probably think this thing is cool too. So uh, stay tuned for more on that. And in the meantime... Judo Sailor, out.